good day everybody today we have come up with a new topic and the name of today's topic is what is a venturimeter the main points that i will cover in this video presentation are first is introduction where we will explain what is a venturimeter then parts of a venturimeter working of a venturimeter means the working principle how a venturimeter works then venturimeter formulas and equations means equations and formulas that are associated with venturimeter application next types of venturimeters next codes and standards that are associated with design or installation maintenance of venturimeter few installation guidelines and finally applications and advantages means what advantages does venturimeter offers so introduction what is a venturimeter the venturimeter was invented or discovered the principle of venturimeter was discovered or invented by giovanni battista venturi and based on his name this device this is a mechanical device is known as venturimeter so venturimeter is a type of flow meter means it is used to measure flow so flow meter venturimeter is also known as venturi tube it works following the equations of bernoulli's principle this device is extensively applied in the water chemical pharmaceutical and oil and gas industries for measuring the flow rates of fluids inside a pipe or in a pipe a venturimeter is a differential head type flow meter that means that a pressure difference is created by reducing the pipe cross sectional area which is measured using a manometer to determine the rate of fluid flow now parts of a venturimeter a venturimeter consists of four parts what are those four parts one is first is the cylindrical inlet section then conical convergent section cylindrical throat and finally conical divergent outlet now what is the cylindrical entrance section the venturimeter entrance is a straight cylindrical section with a length equal to 5 to 8 times the diameter of pipe next section is the convergent conical section in this section the venturimeter tube diameter gradually decreases the conical angle is normally 21 degree there is a tolerance of plus minus 2 degree while the liquid flows inside the venturimeter the velocity of fluid increases at the expense of a decrease in pressure now cylindrical throat this consists of the minimum venturimeter diameter in the throat section the velocity is the maximum and pressure is the minimum normally throat diameter is equal to 1/3 or 1/4 of the inlet pipe diameter next section is the divergent conical section at this section of the venturimeter the tube diameter gradually increases so the pressure is built up again to the original inlet pressure the cone angle is 5 to 7 degree british standard bs1042 specifies two conical angles one is 5 to 7 degree and the other is 14 to 15 degree for the outlet cone this is the image of a sample venturimeter uh, where d is the inlet pipe diameter this is a flanged connection so flanges are there so that it can be easily connected to the pipe flanges this is the cylindrical inlet section where high pressure and low velocity flow enters the venturimeter this is the conical section and this is the throat this is also cylindrical and finally this is the conical outlet section and it again then connected to the outlet side of the piping flange so this is the upstream side of the venturimeter and this side is the downstream side of the venturimeter this is a sample typical flange venturimeter and this is a cut view 
Now working principle of a venturi meter. While flowing through a venturi meter, the fluid accelerates in the convergent section and then decelerates in the divergent section. Which means the fluid velocity increases in the convergent section, whereas it decreases in the divergent section. The pressure difference between an, an upstream section and throat is measured by connecting a manometer. Using that differential pressure and applying Bernoulli's equation and continuity equation, the volumetric flow rate can be estimated. In the next section, we will be looking after the equations that are used to calculate this flow rate. So, venturi meter formulas and equations. The mathematical form of Bernoulli's equation is given by P1 by rho g plus V1 square by 2g plus Z1 is equal to P2 by rho g plus V2 square by 2g plus Z2. Here, suffix 1 and 2 this denotes two different areas. One denotes the cylindrical inlet section and two denotes the throat section. The terms used here are P is equal to pressure inside the pipe, rho is the density of the fluid, G is the gravitational constant, V is the velocity, Z is the elevation or head, A is equal to cross-sectional area of the pipe and D is equal to diameter of the pipe. Now considering the pipe as horizontal, so Z1 will be equal to Z2. So by arranging, we can get P1 minus P2 by rho G is equal to V2 square minus V1 square by 2G. Now P1 minus P2 by rho G is the difference of pressure heads in section 1 and 2, which is equal to H. That can be measured in the differential manometer. So the above equation becomes H is equal to V2 square minus V1 square by 2G. Let's assume this is a equation 1. Now applying continuity equation between the same cross sections 1 and 2, we get A1 V1 is equal to A2 V2 or V1 is equal to A2 V2 by A1. Now putting this value of V1 in equation 1 in this equation and solving we can get V2 is equal to A1 by root over of A1 square minus A2 square into root over of 2GH. So the rate of flow through the throat Q can be calculated as Q is equal to A2 into V2. Now substituting the earlier calculated value of V2 we get Q is equal to A1 E2 by root over of a1 square minus a2 square into root over of 2gh. This q represents the theoretical discharge of the venturi meter in ideal condition. But in actual practice, there will be some frictional losses. Hence, the actual discharge will be less than the theoretical discharge. So to calculate the actual discharge, the above q value is multiplied by a factor called cd, which is known as the coefficient of discharge of venturi meter. So the actual flow rate through the throat of the venturi meter will be given by the following equations. Q actual is equal to C D, that factor multiplied by A1 into A2 by root over of A1 square minus A2 square into root over of 2GH. Now coefficient of discharge of venturi meter or C D is defined as the ratio of the actual flow rate through the venturi meter tube to the theoretical flow rate. So the venturi meter discharge coefficient is given by CD is equal to Q actual by Q. Now ISO 5167, this code provides the values of venturi meter discharge coefficients for accurate flow measurement, normally straight length requirement upstream and downstream stream of the venturi meter is specified. Means for proper working of the venturi meter and to get the actual or real values, there is a straight length requirement upstream and downstream of the venturi meter. Now types of venturi meter. Normally three types of industrial venturi meters are available. Those are horizontal venturi meter, vertical venturi meter and inclined venturi meter. Horizontal venturi meter, this type of venturi meter has the highest kinetic energy and the lowest potential energy. Whereas vertical venturi meter have the maximum potential energy and minimum kinetic energy. And in case of inclined venturi meter, both potential and kinetic energy are in between the above two types. So these are 
in the middle position. Now the codes and standards of venturimeter. The codes and standards that provide guidelines related to venturimeter design, installation, or maintenance are ISO 5167, ISO TR15377, ISO 9300. These three are ISO codes. Then ASME MFC item. This is ASME code. ASTM D2458, AWWA M33, BS1042, and AGA9. All these codes provide some guidelines related to design, installation, or maintenance or construction. Now, installation of venturimeters. Proper installation of a venturimeter is the key for ideal operation. So, the installation of venturimeters must be performed following manufacturer's guidelines. Some of the guidelines are the flow direction arrow in the venturimeter should be checked and installed to agree with the direction of the flow. So, before installation, we have to check the flow direction and according to this flow direction, we have to install the venturimeter in the pipe so that this flow direction and fluid flow matches. Next, flanges at the venturimeter ends should be properly aligned with the piping flanges. So, there are two flanges for connection in one side. One is piping flange and the other is venturimeter flange. Both flanges should match properly and should be aligned properly for proper functioning of the venturimeter. Pipe support should not be placed on the venturimeter. Normally, it is a standard practice that there is no, uh, there should not be any pipe support in the venturimeter. Whatever pipe support has to be provided, that has to be provided on the pipe. Bolts should not be overtopped while tightening the bolts of the flanges, piping flange and venturimeter flange. It should not be over tightened. Installation tolerances should be within industry standard. The tolerances of acceptance should be within the industry standard values and pressure taps should be oriented horizontally for liquid service applications. Now, application of venturimeters in fluid industries means the industry that relates to the fluid. Venturimeters find wide application. The major applications of venturimeters include used in engine carburetors, automobile sector to measure the airflow, used in process industry, process and power piping industries to measure and control process fluid flow. In the medical industry, blood flow in the arteries is measured by venturimeters and measures the fluid flow inside pipelines. So this is in oil and gas industry. Now, what are the advantages of venturimeter? Venturimeters provide accurate results. The accuracy of venturimeter is not dependent on the temperature and pressure inside the pipe. So, the value that we will be getting in the venturimeter is not dependent on the temperature and pressure inside the pipe. Venturimeter does not have any moving parts and very, it provides very low energy loss. Next, wide applicability for water, suspended solids, gases, slurries, chemicals, dirty liquids, etc. High discharge coefficient and very low pressure drop. Venturimeters can be installed in a horizontal, inclined or vertical direction. So, flexibility in installation. Very less change of being clogged. Very less chances of being clogged. So, there is very little chance of being clogged and the pressure recovery of venturimeter is very high. The discharge pressure is almost near to the inlet pressure. So, uh, pressure is almost uniform. That's all for this article today. Hope you liked this video. And if you find this video useful, kindly subscribe to my channel so that you can get future videos immediately when we publish this. And don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you get notification. Thank you.